Okay, let's begin with this integral. So we have x over x squared plus 1 dx. Mm -hmm. uh, if you remember, <clears throat> yeah, we have formulas that we know for integration, okay? In the previous classes, we cover the, the integral of the sine, the cosine, the secant squared, the cosecant squared, the secant tangent. And then we cover the, 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 the integral of the constant, number one, and the power rule. The only one that is new is this one, the integral of the natural log. And I, the last class, I show you how to get this one. So when you have a problem like this one right here, you have to check in the integrals, you know, which one looks like the one you have, right? So in this case, this is okay. I'm required to get the integral of a fraction. So you come here and this is which one of these integrals has fractions? This is well, the only integral have a fraction is this one and tangent, later we are going to see these formulas, tangent that is sine over cosine and cotangent that is cosine over sine. But obviously these two fractions are not going to work. So we're going to look at this one, right? So we're going to try to solve the problem using this formula. So we write here, yeah. Ya viene Leo. Ah, Leo. <clears throat> okay, let me just admit Leo. Okay, so the formula that I'm going to use is du okay. over u, and the solution is natural log of the absolute value of the expression u plus a constant. So according with my table, if I receive this problem, so again, if I have to solve this problem, and these are my formulas, the formulas I have available. The only one that is a fraction is this one right here. I cannot use this one. This Pero is no, power. No se puede I, cambiar usando algebra. Mm, vamos a ver. But let's just go first this one. Vamos a usar okay. esta. Now, we are going to match this formula with this one, right? This is a fraction. So it's obvious that if you match this one to one, u has to be x squared plus one, correct? So it's what we do. u equals x squared plus one. So this is my first substitution. This is a u substitution as we did before. Mm -hmm. Now, in the integral is the du, you see, is the du. So the du, remember, is the derivative of this expression. So it's two x times dx, correct? So this is the way we get the du. So we try to match these terms with these terms using the substitution. So we check, okay, x squared with the u, du is 2x dx. Okay, I have here x dx only. I need a two. So, yeah. but if you have to do a constant, there is no problem because you can put here, okay, I'm going to put my integral. I'm going to put 2x dx. I'm going to put this expression together and at the bottom x squared plus one. And because I put a two and I need the same function, I'm going to cancel the two. So I'm going to put outside the integral one half. One half and two cancel, so you have the same expression. And now I'm going to change this into this, correct? So, uh, well, let me just use the proper colors. Mm -hmm. So this is one half integral x over x squared plus one dx. And now I use my calculus. My calculus is the <coughs> integral of one half the integral of du mm -hmm, uh, over u, correct? So I have, I'm going to do this okay. This is 2x dx, like this one. And well, now this has solution is this one. So I'm going to put one half ln of the absolute value of u but I have to change to the original variable. So I have to use u equals x squared plus one. So this is one half ln absolute value of x squared plus one plus c. Okay. Now I want you to check all the steps. You receive a problem. You look in your formulas, the one that looks like your problem, and then you try to match the u, the, choose the possible u such that you match this with this one. Then if you make the u, in this case, x squared, the du is the derivative of this expression times this, dx. Then you see, it's okay, I have x dx, 
x dx is right here, you see. Then a two is missing, is right here. So I put a two and I remove the two. Once I have this, that is the same as this expression, I change this to the variable and then I solve. So over there, the solution. And when I get the solution, I only substitute back the value of u in terms of x and I have my answer. So check the colors. I have one step of algebra, in this case, to match and solve the expression, okay? No questions here? Easy problem? Bueno, mm -hmm. let's do another one. Um, let me just see the screen. Uh, right here. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to do something similar. One similar. So I have integral of x squared over x cubed plus 5 dx. So I'm going to find the antiderivative of this expression, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is my integral to solve, correct? Yep, there is. Well, again, I check in my formulas I know, remember, this is now my slide, but technically I have to memorize these formulas. You have to memorize these formulas. Mm -hmm. And then I see that the only one matching a fraction is again the same one. So integral du over u equals ln absolute value of u plus c. So that's my solution. Okay, matching one to one, this to this. Okay, the u is x cubed plus five. So I match the bottom with the bottom. Then the du is the derivative of this 3x squared dx. Okay. Now I check my expression. x cubed plus 5 is right here. x squared dx is right here. I just need a 3. So I'm going to do that addition. So I'm going to put here 1 third 3x squared dx over x cubed plus 5. Now, this matches perfectly well this expression and the bottom matches this one. So I'm going to substitute my variable by the u, integral du over u. And the solution, obviously, is right here. Mm -hmm. Now, third. the only thing I have to do is substitute my x variables. So it's ln x cubed plus five, plus C, correct? Yes. So that's my answer. So everybody catch the idea? Mm -hmm. This is guess and check. In this case, it's very easy. Some other ones are going to be difficult. More well, difficult. The winter also follows on the other side. Mm -hmm. See? Está bien, Leo? You catch the one it? third always follows on the yeah, other side? Puede ser, yeah. You can put this as the cubic root of this one, but if you leave it outside, está bien. It's okay. Okay, <clears throat> let's see one pretty much the same. I mean, I'm going to give you this one as a practice right here. You see, it's the same kind of fraction, okay? So, I mean, try to repeat the procedure I did in the previous two. Hmm? We already did this one, Ramirez. Already? Yeah. It doesn't fall test them? It's quarter of LNA? Yeah, I don't think we've done natural log. Oh, wait. What, have... what about these ones? I, I think we may have. I don't know. Bueno, déjame hacer entonces las difficult ones, by sure. Oh, okay. Estas dos. <clears throat> Esta, por ejemplo, <laughs> right? This one. Mm -hmm. So, integral 3x cubed minus one over x dx, right? Okay. Okay. Sure. So we have this expression right here. Um, again, the only fraction I have in my formula chart is du over u. And the solution is this one. So no way out. Now I'm going to try the matching. X with U. Okay, 
So I, the first try is going to be u equals x. No, and if I take the u is one dx, because the derivative of x is one. You the problem is right here is I have a one, but I have this one also. Mm, and I don't have a way to put here an x cube and, and cancel the x cube. Here's so one over x. I have to do some algebra, correct? Now I have to remember my algebra one. <clears throat> yeah, algebra mm -hmm. one window. Let's do algebra one. In the algebra one, you remember that if you have two x plus eight over two, suppose you have that fraction, you were able to do this. You distribute the denominator over the two numbers at the top, correct? Mm -hmm. Then you divide, you got x plus four. This is a rule that is very useful when you have fractions. So you have a over c plus v over c. This is a plus v over c. So this is the way we use fractions. We can add fractions with common denominators. So and you put the common denominator and then you at the top. Now, this one is the reverse of this one. So you split this in these two is what we did, correct? So this is what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to take the integral, this integral, and I'm going to take integral 3x cubed over x minus one over x dx, right? Then I remember that when you add two integrals, and these are the rules I know, you see, if you have the addition or subtraction of two integrals, you have two, when the, of two functions, the integral of two functions, you split the integrals. So this is what I'm going to do here. This is the integral of this expression. This is three X squared, because you okay. can simplify dx minus the integral one over X dx, correct? So you split this in two easy ones. Then this is, well, I don't have here to do anything. This is easy. This is um, x cubed minus this is the same as this one. So this is ln x plus my constant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Esta so, creo que la habíamos hecho también. ¿Bien? Sí. ¿Seguro? Ya la había resuelto yo. Ah, you solved it, but I didn't solve it here, I guess. Bueno. No, no, aquí a la, ahorita a la, I solved it because we went over something like this one. Okay. Bueno. Another problem. Let's see. This one. Ln x over x. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So we have integral ln x over x dx. Uh, porque the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, so mm -hmm. it's eu over now, u. The situation is very simple. Again, this is a fraction, so Brandon is right. <clears throat> In the u substitution, right, you have to uh, look for the derivative. You have two functions. One has to be like the derivative of the other one. So this is correct. The derivative of the ln n is one over x. So here is one over x. So what you did is really this. Integral ln x times one over x dx, correct? Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is the derivative of this. So in this case, this one is not going to be possible. The one possible is one e u equals ln x. Then du is the derivative of ln x is one over x dx. So in this case, you have this pretty set up, and then the only you have to do is change this u v u. Here is u, and here is the u. Now, this is not going to be the rule to solve this problem. The rule is going to be, well, integral u to the n du, u m plus one over m plus one plus c, correct? This is the solution. So this is going to be u squared over two plus c. And then the only thing you have to do is substitute the u. So it's ln x squared over two plus c, correct? Mm -hmm. So again, 
is guess and check. Possibly you begin with a formula, but at the moment you take the, the U, you find that the formula you began with mm -mm, doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So you have to check again in your table with integrals and then check which one may solve the problem. Okay, well, now let's see. <clears throat> Let's go to the ones that are going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, this is really the last page. No, it's missing. Well, I'm going to skip these two because this uh, in the new content of the AP Calculus AB, these are no longer part of the co of the scope and sequence. So these are going to be the last four. Okay, so uh, let's just let me see. Let me just put integral 3x squared plus x minus 1 over 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x, 3x, okay? So now I have the problem in my little board. Now again, It seems that the only one working is this one again. Yeah. Okay, Leo. What you is the good one? Huh? U equals what? Uh, mm, mm, nothing. 2x cubed, no? Plus x squared yeah. minus x. Okay. 2x cubed plus x squared minus 2x. Okay. Now let's see, the du is the derivative of this. This is x, x squared, square, yeah. 2x no. minus 2, everything times dx, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me see what I have here. Uh, I have 2x, 3x oh. plus 1x minus 1. And what I have here these numbers. Times one half. Well, let's just do some algebra. If I factor a, a 2, I have 3x squared plus x minus one dx, correct? Yeah. And then one so half. this is the same as I have here. It's the same expression, only with an extra two. So that's not a problem. This is going to be equals one half integral to three x squared plus x minus one dx over two x cubed plus x squared minus 2x. And now, this is matching exactly this expression, du over u. So this is one half integral du over u. So I know, I'm, again, I know the solution. So the only thing I have to do is put the u value I select, 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus two. Easy. That's my answer. Facile. Oh. Easy. You can say bien. Easy. Check this out. The colors. Calculus. Calculus. Algebra. Algebra, because put a constant is not calculus. It's just algebra. You have to know these rules, right? Then you do the calculus solution and then final <laughs> substitution. So, pretty much are 50 50, right? Ya es más cálculos que cuando empezamos. Ahorita. Right now, yeah. Well, now let's see the next problem now. Oh my God. Okay. Now that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's another rational function, correct? So, it's integral of 2x squared minus x plus 3 over x plus one dx. Okay, I have my problem right here. Okay, why not? Um, again, I have no other fraction than this one, not this one, not this one, so I'm going to try to match that expression. So integral of du over u yeah. Now let's see. 
A ver, Luisito. Mm -hmm. What do you want to take? If you want to match this with this. Let's try. Try X plus one. X plus one? Yeah. Okay. If you took if you take X plus one, the DU is going to be the derivative of this one times the dx, correct? Yeah. Okay, now <clears throat> this portion is right here. This portion is this one right here. So mm -hmm. I have this extra. I have no way to cancel out that one. So uh, doesn't work. That is not a good solution. Okay. Other possibility. A ver, Brandon, other possibility. Pues el otro. El otro. Vamos a ver. U equals 2x <laughs> squared minus x plus 3. Yeah? Mm. Okay, we have the u. 4x minus 1. Minus 1. The, uh, see, minus 1, the x. Okay. Um, there is a problem. Ugh. I need this portion. It's not here. And this portion is not here in this one. So, uh -uh. doesn't work like that either. So, he has a factor. Um, so, yeah. Oh. So, here the situation is the same as you have in your early happy years when you have, for instance, uh, 13 over 3. Remember this fraction? What you did here? It says, well, I divide the 13 by 3, 3 times 12, 12 oh, yeah. and then we get a 1, right? So, 13 is 4 plus 1 third, correcto? So technically mm. it's this one. 4 times 3 plus 1 over 3. Then I distribute 4 times 3 over 3 plus 1 over 3. 4 plus 1 third. So that's the basic math we did years ago, correct? Well, in this case, if you see, you have something similar. The top is more than the bottom. So possibly, I can take this one, right? Divided by and try to one. simplify. <clears throat> what is going to be here, the situation? This is, well, I don't know if I can factor, but something I can do always is division. 2x squared minus x plus 3 divided by x plus 1. So I have here 2x. Eh? No, Ramirez. ¿Puedes hacer el factoring? <laughs> no, no más no lo quiero hacer. Ok. <laughs> so it's 2x squared, negative 0, uh, minus 2x. Here I have negative 3x uh, plus 3. So I have negative 3. 3. So it's negative 3x positive, negative positive. Ok, 6. Ahí está. So there is no factoring for this problem, right? So, this problem is going to be 2x minus 3 plus 6 over x plus 1. If you see, it's exactly what I did here, except with algebra. Okay, Brandon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You te acuerdas de esto, yeah? Right? You know how to solve these divisions or not? Yeah, I do. Okay, that's good. Isn't that just long division? Yeah, it's the long division, exactly. Yeah, if the factoring is not possible, then the only thing is the, is the long division. So, once we have this algebra done, okay, I can do my calculus. So, this is going to be, this is going to be, okay. 2x minus 3. Uh, let me just write here. So, this is going to be the integral of 2x minus 3 plus 6 over x plus 1 dx, correct? Let's read it. So I have this function plus this function. So I'm going to split the integral. Integral of 2x minus 3 dx plus the integral of 6 over x 
plus one dx. Okay, I have now two integrals. Okay, let me just move to this guy. Okay, what is the integral of this expression? 2x four squared. X over four. Wait. Okay, so it's x squared, over two, so x squared. X squared, x squared minus 3x, correct? Mm -hmm. So you integrate this, integrate this. So it's no problem. It's something that you, can, you have to do really with no problem. So x squared, derivative 2x, 3x, derivative 3. <laughs> plus integral, or 6 times the integral, 1 over x plus 1 dx. Now, this integral is possible to be solved. How? Yeah, Check this with this one. Yeah, it's it's gonna be <clears throat> ln of x plus mm -hmm. one x squared, yes, minus three x plus six ln absolute x value plus of one. x plus one plus c plus c. I just put a constant for everything. Here is my answer. Now again, now check the algebra. Um, you have to do a long division. You have to split this in two. What your integral is fraction like this. You use your calculus and you solve your problem. Mm -hmm. Now it's not 50-50, you see? It's not 50-50, it's a little bit more algebra. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Questions before we move to the no to the other one? No, everything no. fine? Piece no. Sure. Fine. Kind of. Never again now. Let's see. Um, okay, you see K? Mm -hmm. A ver, try K. Okay, let me write it down. Okay. So we're doing K? Is the same way as this one, okay? As I saw. So I'm going to put here integral. No hay factoring. Bueno, you can just factor. No factoring? No, si hay. 2x minus 1, 2x plus 3. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Okay, when you observe this one, this is more than the bottom one, correct? So this mm -hmm. is greater than this. So we can divide. <clears throat> the factoring works, but the long division always, no problem. So 2x, I'm done. negative 4x squared, uh, plus 2x, correct? So this is zero, this is zero, negative three. So this integral, right, is going to be integral of 2x uh, minus 3 over 2x minus 
one dx, correct? You got the same thing? Um, no. Wait, 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 no. No. Two x minus one is negative two x is negative four x minus three. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Mira, ahí el, el, el 2x minus 1, you multiply the 2x, that's 4x, right? And then the negative 1 mm -hmm. times the 2x is negative 2x, and you put plus 2. Yeah, but you, you're subtracting anything because in division you subtract. Uh, that's why. Ah, you multiply it. Oh, yeah. Shut up. A ver, muchachos, what happened with the algebra? Subtracting negative, dumbass. <laughs> no, correct, or is correct or not correct? It's, it's very correct. important. A ver, Areli, is no. fine or not? This. Sí. Yeah? <laughs> She's like, Luisito? <laughs> yeah, I mess up the signs. Liam? Ah, yo no dije no, nada. Liam? Yo no dije nada. <laughs> ¿Cómo que no? <laughs> okay. What about Brandon? Is okay now? Yeah. Okay, well. Now, these are going to be two integrals, right? So it's going to be the integral of 2x dx minus three times the integral of one over two x minus one dx, okay? Now with the experience, you can see that this is one over u very easy, right? Mm -hmm. This is x squared, no problem. This is x squared minus three. Now, what do you need here to adjust? You need a two, correct? One half integral to dx over two x minus one, right? Why a two? Because if you take this derivative, what you get? A two. So you need a two, and then you remove the two. Now, this is going to be simply x squared minus three halves, ln two x minus one plus three. Correct? You got the same? Yeah. Okay. It's very possible that you find these integrals in the test. I'm not sure, but you sell in the multiple choice, there's, there was one like this one. So this polynomial greater than this one, so you have to use the long division, break as two, and then this is a power, and this is the integral of a natural log, see how this one, right? Yeah, pretty much fine. Okay, the last one. The last one that is going to give you trouble. Okay? So, um, let me just take this one. Oops. Screen. This one. This is one right here. Okay? <clears throat> Integral x over x plus 1 s squared dx. Okay. Now, this is one for you play with the algebra. A ver, vamos a ver. Again, I'm trying to match with this integral. Mm -hmm. Correct. What do you can use? Would you have to like foil the bottom or just leave it like that? You can. We can do that. Equals integral x squared plus 2x plus 1 x dx. Correct? Mm -hmm. Now you can make the u this one, right? Yeah, but That's the idea. u equals now? x squared 2x plus 1. But then because you, you want to match this. Now, what is the problem with the du? You have 2x plus, plus 2 dx. This what? is not what you have okay. here. You are missing the plus 2. And that's a problem. Mm. Yeah? But so, you okay. The expansion doesn't work. Now, what is the other option? Well, can't you like x over whatever and then 1 whatever? Uh -huh. x plus 1, correct? Yeah. So the other one is take this one, and then you have not this problem. You are going to have u to the n du equals u m plus 1 over m plus 1 plus c, right? Because this is negative 2. Well, let's see what happened. du equals dx, correct? 
So I'm going to use a substitution, right? So this doesn't work, correct? <clears throat> so I'm going to put this up. U equals X plus one, du equals dx. Let me just put this one on the top. Now, if I substitute, I have integral x u squared du. So the only I can move is this for u and this du. I have an x here that is bugging me, right? So this is what we have to do. Change x in terms of u. Correct? Mm -hmm. Change the color, you see, du, this one, and this one. So I mark it especially with color to know this one. Now, how can you find the x in terms of u? What do you have in front of you? <clears throat> U over U. An expression. Uh -huh. X plus one equals U. Correct. Esto. Mm -hmm. Here you have the U equals X plus one. Yeah. Right? So from this one, you can find X by itself. X equals U minus one. Correct? Mm -hmm. So the integral is going to be now, well, this is algebra really. This is algebra. So X equals U minus one. So this, this integral is going to be integral of u minus one over u squared du, correct? Now you are exactly in the case that you can split this in two. So you can equals integral u over u squared minus one over u squared du. So you see, I'm using my algebra and I should be doing this in black really. This is u over u squared minus one over u, correct? So check that I'm doing in black all my algebraic movements, okay? Now, what is the next step? Well, the next step is to split these two integrals. You're this is going to be equals integral one over u du minus uh, negative one squared. over u du u squared i mean integral one over u squared du oh. Okay. Oh, okay. now this integral is easy this is ln absolute value of u minus this integral is the integral of u negative two du, correct? And this is the solution right here, you see? So this is going to be ln u minus, uh, this is going to be one over u du, oh, one over u plus c, correct? So the integral of this is going to be this one is because you are this one, negative two plus one, negative one, negative two plus one, negative one, so the negatives cancels. So I'm going to have that one. Now, final answer. Ln x plus one, plus one over x plus one plus c. So you set the u back, you see? The u you have here in this side, you substitute right here. Pretty much fine. <clears throat> okay. Bueno. Tomorrow we are going to continue with limits, okay? Tomorrow we have class at 10. So I'm going to do more integrals, more things like this. So I want to see you there. But at 10, Luisito, okay? Not at 11. Okay. So okay. it's just, let's see, if Rene, yes, uh, uh, David, attend the class also. Okay. David's in the hospital and.